that's my what I wore last week and for those of you who might have um, watched my last one uh, but maybe if you watch it on TV and you can't see the caption or you can't see what I've written underneath you know um, if you're wondering why I'm posting a little bit less it's literally because because I, I made the decision to kind of start spreading out my videos a little bit more because I do have a big backlog but because I'm going to get married, we're trying not to spend too much money, I'm trying to cut down my spending and obviously I've now made videos for and covered quite a lot of what I already had, quite a lot of the previous blind buys I've had um, and I'm not going to be buying quite as much anymore, you know, just maybe like a few things a month. Um, so I've I've just spread them out basically, I've, I've actually literally got enough videos to take us into next year quite comfortably. So I'm obviously going to continue to do these new if there's anything I'm super excited about or is on like a really good special offer or you know anything that's kind of discontinued that I see come up. I've got one of those I'm definitely going to have to make hopefully next week. I will make sure I get those up quite quickly and don't leave them until later in the year. But yeah I'm, I mean just generally as well the UK have just been told that our energy bills are going to go up for a second time and we're about to hit a recession so yeah just got to be slightly more sensible so a video every day doesn't seem like a very sensible thing to do so I've kind of cut that down a bit anyway that's that bit done um, I've also managed to lose the little cover for my microphone so I hope this isn't going to sound insane I do not know what I've done with it I don't know where that's gone um, it's got caught up somewhere in something else in my bedroom I imagine <laughs> anyway I actually only wore six perfumes this week um, because there was one that I just love so much it used to be a signature of mine I just ended up wearing it twice but on the plus side I have got a nice little um, light that I got from Sheen um, which is very helpful to kind of deal with the shadow that my iPad <laughs> causes when I'm making these videos. So on Saturday I wore this Mademoiselle, um, what is the actual name of this one? Hang on, let me just double check on my phone because it doesn't print, because um, this is not the original Mademoiselle, this is one of the flankers and I think it's, ah, there we go, La Autre Floral. This is a 50 mil. Um, I wore this one on Saturday and it is driving me slightly insane that I can't remember what this reminds me of because it reminds me of something from my childhood and it there's something apple-y and shampoo-y about it but, or maybe more bubble bathy. I feel like, I feel like I must have had something from the body shop that smells a bit like this. I feel like I've had, I had some kind of apple bubble bath or shampoo when I was little or some kind of soap, you know, apple soap that smelled like this. Technically there is an apple in this perfume, but it definitely has a slightly apple-y smell and it's a really nice apple-y smell. It's very, very nice. Um, it's really fresh, really green, um, not ridiculously strong, but it's there's definitely something soapy about it. Um, but it didn't, it doesn't irritate me the way some shampoo perfumes do. So again, maybe that's just quite warm at the moment and some shampoo perfumes, some are better in winter because they don't go some shampoo-y and some are randomly just work when it's warmer. But the notes for Azaro O Trace Floral, uh, tray floral uh, top notes of quince and rhubarb middle notes of green leaves and tea rose base notes lily of the valley white musk and ambrette musk mallow so yeah it's funny it really does it really reminds me of something from when i was little very 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 evocative indeed and yeah it's just giving me real body shop vibes so i f i feel like i probably had like a shower gel or or a body wash or something from there that had like an apple smell to it and that's what this smells like it's very green i'm not getting i don't get a huge amount of rose more lily of the valley really a little it's quite musky but there's, yeah there's something about the combination of the quince and the rhubarb that make it smell kind of appley and it's very fresh it's very light really easy to wear very pretty perfume so i like that one um i do think it's been get discontinued uh sadly but you can still get this one quite easily there's some of the azaro mademoiselles that you can't get really at all in this country anymore or at least they're really expensive but you can still get Otre Floral super cheap um okay and then next up oh my god I love this one 
this is just this is the one that I wore for two days in a row because the thing is boom green tea and cherry blossom it was my signature for a, for a little bit and that's just because it's just so absolutely lush and I do once I wear it I always want to wear it again because <laughs> it's so fresh it's so yummy it doesn't last I mean I think the Azaro one's probably like between four to six hours depending on what you're getting up to and you know whether you get it on your clothes or how hot or cold it is or whatever um and this is probably the same boom doesn't last for a super long time it is supposed to be an eau de parfum but it doesn't last like an eau de parfum that's just a good point what's this one say there yeah so Azaro that's an eau de toilette that one um, this one is supposed to be eau de parfum, but it, it isn't. I mean, it, it, it doesn't work like an eau de parfum at all. It's much more of an eau de toilette, kind of, you know, in terms of its longevity. It's so fresh. It's so yummy. I'm obsessed. I love Boom. Um, the original Boom is actually quite nice too. That one you can still get. Green tea and cherry blossom. You really have to search for this. This is kind of like, uh, you know, try and find it on eBay situation. But it's so delicious. I've got, um, I've got two bottles of these on the go. I've got like a mini one that I keep at my mum and dad's and, um, and, and I've got a spare one, you know, I just uh, like that's still in the box all wrapped up because I just absolutely love this perfume. It's one of my absolute favourites of all time. Probably in my top top five favourite perfumes ever. Um, so the notes in this one, top notes of tea, lemon and pear. Middle notes, cherry blossom, blackcurrant and rose. Base notes of peach and musk. And it absolutely just smells like those notes. There's nothing kind of weird that crops up. It doesn't get weirdly vanillary. It's got an aromatic, watery tea note. It's got like a fresh, singy lemon note. It's really super lovely and sweet from the pear. The blackcurrant gives it a berry vibe. The cherry blossom is noticeable. The rose is very watery and sweet, so it's not. It's much more cherry blossom than it is rose. Um, and the the peach in the in the base just keeps that kind of fruity vibe going. You know, it just it doesn't get like super peachy, but it uh, to me it's like cherry blossom, pear, and tea. I think of the things that this perfume feels like a, a, a like on my skin that's how it feels to me how it smells to me when i'm wearing it so yeah so i wore that for i wore it on sunday and then i loved it so much that i'm just going to wear it again on monday i just absolutely love it and i can just i just keep respraying it and it's again it's like normally it's got one of those little green things on it but um my other bottle has that one and this is the one i'm currently using um in my flat so uh yeah it's normally got a little thing that sticks out to stop you pressing this down but oh i just you can drench yourself in it you can absolutely drench yourself in it um and yeah so I, you can just decant it if you want to take it with you because is it's, it's one of those you have to reapply it and just because i love it so much i tend to put it on like maybe every four hours or something um oh yeah don't need notes for this because they don't give you notes next up was the aqua colonia star fruit and white flowers i went for very kind of watery fresh light delicious kind of cologne style perfumes this week i was obviously really in that mood probably because last week was just so horribly hot and we did have a few another couple of days that were very very hot it's cooled down a bit now but i think just because i'd felt so hot for, for like so long i just wanted really fresh stuff and again like this is another one that's now in my kind of top five perfumes i love star fruit and white flowers from aqua colonia from 47 11 it's just nearly dropped it god damn <laughs> It's got a beautiful fruity, star fruity. I mean, how do you even explain what star fruit smells like? It's slightly sweet. It's fruity. It doesn't smell like melon, but it's like a kind of melony kind of vibe, if you see what I mean. It's that kind of watery but sweet vibe that you get with melon, but it doesn't actually smell like melon. It's hard to explain. I mean, you know, like kind of a slightly peachy vibe, maybe it's just heaven and i'm pretty sure there's jasmine in this so i'm pretty sure the flowers has some kind of jasmine in 
but I'm I'm not entirely sure what else there is. But I've I've said it before when I've worn this that it reminds me of mock orange, which is Philadelphia, which it just basically sp smells like white flowers at springtime, like in early spring, mixed with a delicious kind of fresh fruit. So I mean, I just love that perfume. It's just so stunning. I love it. I think it's the the best aqua colonia for it. Well, maybe equally with the lemon and citrus. I just love both of them so much. And then I did another aqua colonia, and weirdly. I think that's because I was wearing oh yeah I had some bright green trousers on <laughs> and it just triggered in my head that I should wear something that smells quite green but I wanted something that was kind of sweet as well you know I want I was kind of torn between sweet and green so I went for the aqua colonia green tea and bergamot because it's quite powdery and it's actually really sweet um it smells to me you can get a bit of the green tea but it's more about the bergamot but it's a very powdery sweet green kind of almost fluffy bergamot I don't really it's, it's quite hard to describe this one as well but it's absolutely delicious so easy to wear again with both of them you can absolutely douse yourself in it um and these again they probably even though they're cologne I think they probably last the same if not a bit better maybe than the boom um maybe kind of equal so they're they're I'd say they're more of a like an eau de toilette some of these not all of the aqua colonias but these two they're both quite persistent they're really really nice and then ah well if you've watched some of my other videos you know that therefore yesterday I was feeling rather chic um, and therefore I was still by Jennifer Lopez which is reflecting the um can you actually there we go you can just about see it so this one again it lasts really really well this it just i can smell it on myself all day i do tend to reapply it at the end of the day before i leave work because i want it to be really strong again and it's very skin scenty um after you've had it on for maybe about four hours but you can always smell it on yourself basically until you wash it off it's just heaven it's like it's got a beautiful musk in this and interestingly i'll talk about uh, i'll talk about the musk more with the next perfume actually but it's a gorgeous light watery musk which may sound insane it's just it's just it's a summer musk kind of perfume you know what I mean um and this one the notes are top notes of earl grey tea white pepper mandarin orange apple and rice middle notes jasmine lily of the valley freesia honeysuckle orange blossom and rose base notes pepper musk sandalwood iris and amber a lot of notes I mean I get you know again i get the i get a bit of the pepper i get a bit of the mandarin orange and the apple in the top i do think it has a slight earl gray smell about it when you very first spray it but then it kind of dries down to smelling a little bit more like um a black tea um just a black tea with jasmine so it smells like jasmine tea to me and the rice gives it a slight creaminess it's very musky the sandalwood's keeping it warm the amber's keeping it warm it's not ridiculously peppery um and i don't smell a huge amount of the other florals it's mainly just it's, it's the jasmine but it's jasmine done in a way that i adore and um yeah i was very smart yesterday and this just suited it i just kind of you know opened the cupboard to my summer fragrances and went well obviously it's going to have to be still i just love it so much it's so delicious um one of my one of my probably long-term loves this will become i don't i because i now can't imagine not having the, this perfume you know i can't imagine not having this one um so i think that will be a, a lifetimer you know <laughs> so let's make a bit of space in the center so i can talk about this next babe um okay so next up we have Jeanne by Landvin and this is just this is such a lovely perfume but it's interesting because um, I have I've spoken about this in, in one of my summer high heat perfumes and it's brilliant for high heat because it's very light it's fruity a little bit floral just very very light super easy to wear you can massively overspray it um, and you'd need to to be honest because this one you're going to get again about four hours out of it is this actually supposed to be an eau de parfum yep it's supposed to be an eau de parfum it doesn't work like an eau de parfum it's very light not hasn't got great longevity but it it's got a at first when you spray it for maybe like an hour it's got a bit of um 
projection but it doesn't really project very much this one and I would say it's incredibly easy to wear in a super safe blind buy unless you're fussy about musk because this one I think is quite musky but I, I think it has a very similar kind of musk in it to still in that it's light it's watery it's fresh it's not like it's not heavy it's not soapy it's not like it's not going to feel like you're weighed down it's not animalic but it's definitely noticeable as a musky perfume i think yeah i definitely get that vibe from it and it is like having worn them next to each other i was like oh that's a really similar kind of musk and it's a musk that i love and it's actually it's the kind of musk yeah it's the kind of musk that i absolutely love like in skin musk there's a sweet lightness about it and it's not animalic it's just delicious so this baby i wore today and i just i've got a decant of it that i took into work and i probably put i mean i think i put this on again at lunchtime i put it on again before i left but yeah i mean it, it this one does tend to disappear even if you hit your clothes so you have to if you want to be able to smell it on yourself you want to massively overspray it it's not one that i could particularly smell through my um mask but what i will say is that i wore this today now um, my sister bought me this this is coco and eve glow figure body moisture whip and it's lychee and dragon fruit and this is one of those situations where um, i normally wear sympathy sympathy for the skin by lush which basically smells like um how would i describe it like if you're british like cart door vanilla ice cream um very specifically like a kind of cart door kind of smell so a light vanilla ice cream um but with a bit of banana in it it's got actual banana in it but the, the scent is very only just lightly banana and that's what i tend to use if i'm moisturizing my legs but when i was last home you can see the it's very thick nice texture this not when I was last home, but maybe last year, in fact, when I was home, um, I needed to borrow some moisturiser from my sister for my legs. And um, she let me use some of this, and the smell is just kind of otherworldly. It's called Lycian Dragon Fruit. There's something slightly candied and sweet about it, but it's not like vanilla -y. It's just, it's heavenly. So anyway, I kind of got, <laughs> I, I looked it up and thought I might have to get myself some of that even though I, I tend not to buy things unless I think they're super super natural um, but um, I, I kind of thought to myself I'll have a look and then it's I think this is about 35 quid which is a ridiculous amount of money to moisturise my legs with which is, is not what I would normally spend but my sister got me one of these for Christmas so or maybe my birthday actually so um, I have it now which means obviously I'm going to use it and this just went quite nicely with this because this is a kind of fruity raspberry smell to me and this it's not berries but there's something about it that just went really nicely so rather than using sympathy for the skin on my legs uh, this morning I used this one and this is a beast it's <laughs> this one smells really strong um so like together i could smell actually both of these on me when i was on my way to work um yeah this also has mango in it it's got green coffee mango and cocoa um it smells absolutely lush but i think it's about 35 quid which is a stupid amount of money um and i'm not really bothered about moisturizers generally like smelling of anything i'd rather the perfume be the smell but i'm just putting it out there because i did wear it today and it's actually really tasty but where was i so jeanne Top notes are blackberry, pear, and lemon. Middle notes are raspberry, peony, rose, and freesia. Base notes are musk, sandalwood, and amber. And this one to me is a raspberry perfume, but it's floral. And this is uh, my votes don't necessarily match other people's because they think there's a lot of peony in this. Whereas I don't really like peony very much, and I don't think this smells like peony. I think it smells like raspberry and freesia. And particularly because this particular perfume massively reminds me of the raspberry in La Belle Zariki, which used to be my signature perfume for like 16 years. It's been discontinued for about 10. I've talked about it on my channel many times and I will continue to talk about it. It's going to be my legal wedding day fragrance. And that has raspberry and freesia in it. And this, to me, smells like if you took out the nut, if you just kind of 
deconstructed labels and you took the raspberry and you took the freesia and then you added in loads of musk um then that is what this smells like to me although i can get a bit of i mean definitely a bit of the blackberry mixing with the raspberry which i think gives it a slight greenness which also makes it a bit more like labels because i think blackberry often when when that's a note in perfumes i do tend to think they're a little bit green because i think they they smell like like the leaves as well as the actual fruit and i really like it um and then the pear and lemon keep it nice and sweet and juicy it's very juicy this perfume um you don't get you don't really get much in the way of sandalwood and amber i don't think i don't smell rose in this to be honest but i definitely know that there's musk i can sense that there's musk so yeah for me this is like fruits with it's a raspberry dominant juicy fruity perfume with a big dose of freesia and musk and i i just think it's really tasty i think it's absolutely lush just gonna in fact ooh, I'm wearing it today Ooh, let's have a bit more um so yeah you can absolutely go ham with it which is why it's good that it's not massively expensive um and to be honest i'm not entirely sure there's much point with this one in getting a, a smaller bottle i think if you like it you might as well just get a massive bottle because the chances are you're going to need to keep respraying it quite a lot um so yeah really really nice um very very fresh batch of perfumes this week very fresh watery fruity tasty just absolutely lovely week um and i've got i've got a couple of new things on the way and so there might be a few more new and interesting things cropping up in my next what what you wore that what did i wear um and uh i'm definitely going to get up i did a little direct cosmetics order because something popped up that i've been looking for for ages that's been discontinued or was like a limited edition and it just came up as a tester for super cheap so i have ordered myself a whole load of testers and i am very much looking forward to making videos about them when they arrive <laughs> 